But the next question is from Pro Shadowcat, and they say, How many wood types are there going to be in Oakland? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video channel. And today, we're going to be talking about Oakland's. And this time, we have a little bit of news coming in from the typical developer's Twitter. And this time, it says Twitter exclusive. And we have an image here as well. So, zooming into this image, you can see that it is a close-up of this tree. And it looks to be a very in-detail tree. If we compare this image to this current tree over this way, let's go over to the tree. You will be able to see that this tree looks very different. This tree is actually in the darkness right now and we don't have any other tree to compare it to. Let's go over to this one. As you can see, these are two different textures. So that means the trees are going to get a little bit of a different texture or this is a new tree entirely, but Either way, you're going to get yourself a more realistic looking tree, which I think is looking really, really awesome. But that's not the only thing we have in this image. The next thing we have in this image is zooming in. You can see there is 3D grass. So having a look really, really zoomed in compared to the floor, you can see the grass is like really 3D. It's flat, yeah, but it's also like realistic grass, and I really, really like that. And you've got your trees closer together too, which is really, really neat. And also, the grass goes and fades into the water, so if there's going to be like a lake or something, this is a really, really cool effect. If we were to go to any water body now, it would just be like collision like this. It would be sand or grass or dirt or whatever, and then it would just be water here and it's not really fading in it's just a line but i think with this brand new thing you're going to be able to fade it in and it's going to look really great with the transitions and stuff like that which i think is really really cool but that is all the news we have right now so let me go through the q a that we have in my Discord, I have opened a Q&A channel, and I have been waiting for Q&As to rack up, and we have a couple questions. So, we are going to go through the questions, and I don't know how long the video is going to be, but let's go answer some of the questions. So, the first question is from HBW, and they say, question, what will be the best way to get money early in game? Will it just be wood and stone selling, or like selling items? Well... I think inside of the outline document, it said something about a fluctuating market. So that's pretty cool. You're going to be able to have items, maybe be able to sell it for a higher price or people can sell it for a lower price, sell it for a price that suits you. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the best way is going to be, but you do have methods of selling your stone that you mine up. It would be over that way. Just by going over here, I can show you. I think this is the only current method in the game of getting money right now, but if you was to pick up your stone and you could put it onto the conveyor like this, like that, and then you're able to press sell, which is like this, sell resource, awesome, all well and dandy. So that is a way of you getting money as well, but any other ways, I presume we will have to wait until the game is further in development to see how this all unfolds and you will get the answer that you are looking for. The next question is from Kona and they say, what will you build on your base when Oakland's is released? Like a shop or a big house or something? Well, if we go over to my base, I will be able to show you the big massive plot size and I will be able to tell you what I plan to do with the base, but that depends on whether the plots are going to change, get bigger, smaller, we will have to wait and see. My base is over here, so that's pretty cool. It is starting to become nighttime, so we will have to hurry up with this. As you can see, this is like the diagonal width of the plot and it is from like one side of the screen to the another. So I'm thinking of building like a studio around here and then maybe a shop over here or something. Maybe like a house or something. But yeah, a studio to do loads of recording and stuff in. That would be pretty, pretty epic. But it is getting nighttime now, so let's go to somewhere where it is going to be bright. Okay, so now we are with Stuart inside of the Hardware Haven store, and this is going to be pretty epic. The next question is a very popular question, and the next question is from Michael Sullivan, and they say, When can we start playing this game? I have no idea on when this game is going to be released, and I have no... Um, estimated time either. Look, I have a mouse on my screen now. That's really weird. But uh, yeah, I have no estimated time or release date on when this is going to be released. We are just going to have to wait until the developers have said something. At the moment, we are still inside of phase one. So phase one is just internal testers, QA testers, and content creators right now. But 
yeah, Phase 2 will be released when it is released. I don't know when that's going to be released either, so I hope that answers your question. Probably very badly. You're not getting the answer that you probably were hoping, but it is an answer nonetheless. But the next question is from Pro Shadowcat, and they say, How many wood types are there going to be in Oaklands? And this is a very fascinating question. And I actually dove into this question and did a little bit of digging to find out that there are a couple trees coming into the game. Let me go through the list right now. So the list contains of these. This isn't all of them, but this is a couple of them. So we have the poplar tree that is completed. We have the pine tree and the black walnut tree They are also completed the palm tree is completed and the next trees We are probably going to see is the reed and the white poplar tree I say it's probably the next ones that we're going to see is because it's the next ones on the list If you look at the list it is tick 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 non tick and then tick so it looks like they're working from the top to bottom so we're most probably going to see the white poplar tree and the reed added next and I must say now that I see the reed we may be able to see the ash tree in fact yes we will see the ash tree because that is also on the Trello Trello says that we will see the ash tree return the ash tree and the reed were from Woodmill Inc and they are pretty epic trees I must say I really really liked both of them the black one was my favorite it was amazing but what else is amazing is this final question and it's from Cone, and they say, if you could add something to the game, what would it be? And I would have to answer with some sort of late game flying mechanic, where you're probably able to either purchase with, I don't know, you have like a hundred billion dollars you can hold up to, so I don't know, for maybe like 50 billion dollars you could purchase like this jetpack thing, which allows you to fly for 15 seconds in the air, so you can get around this terrain without having to do stuff like long planking, or anything, I don't know. Maybe if you want to get up to the, the top of this hill, you can, if you're a late game player, you can just grab a jetpack and you can do like 15 seconds of flying and then it has like a reset timer on how long you can use it and I think that would be pretty, pretty epic. But some sort of easy transport mode without having to drive a truck, just easy fly up, see the map in all of its glory and that will be pretty pretty epic but there will have to be limitations on that because you don't want people flying forever so 15 seconds and then you can't use it for what a minute I think that's a very good timeout number that would be fine by me that is going to be it for this video if you did like this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me and the channel then make sure to turn your notification bells on if you want to add a question either leave it in the comment section down below or join my discord and leave it in the Q&A section under the Oakland category and I will answer it in the next video but I shall see you guys in the next one bye